Hey guys, welcome to the clubhouse. I'm Billy Jackson, and today's review is going to be on X-Men Dark Phoenix. I don't understand all the negativity thrown on this movie. Review after review after review has been negative. It at least started out negative with all the screenings last week and everything. And then people started to go see it, and like me, they realized that this movie isn't as bad that everybody on the production has been talking about. I mean, for months, actually the past year, there's been a lot of negativity surrounding this movie and the production of it. And I, I've been ha keeping a close watch on what has been going on. They did a reshoot um, of the final act. Um, a lot of people think that you go into this movie and the whole third act's a whole different movie. It's not. It and guys, I understand that people are going to think that I'm biased, but because I'm a comic book lover, but I'm not being biased. I'm just telling you, this was a good comic book movie. Is it the best movie ever? No. Is it the best X Men movie? No. Is it the worst movie ever? Like everybody is saying online, absolutely not. Is it the worst X Men movie? No. It's better than X Men Apocalypse. It's better than. Uh, X-Men 3, The Last Stand, is better than X-Men Origins Wolverine, and I'm a huge Wolverine fan, so I'm not biased. I, that movie is terrible. Um, it doesn't matter what I like. I just enjoy film if it's good, and this movie was good. Guys, if you are a fan and you're watching all the other reviews, I know there's not a lot of people that watch my reviews, but if you're one of the lucky ones that do, know that this is a good X-Men movie. It's right under Days of Future Past for me, and if you're a fan of that movie, I think you'll really love this movie. Yes, there's some continuity issues, but every X-Men film, ever since the first one that came out in the year 2000, that there have been continuity issues. I mean, Fox is saying is continuity schmottinuity. They don't care. Um, it, it completely ties together with First Class. I think you can watch First Class, Days of Future Past, and this movie, and you'll have a good trilogy of movies for the new cast that was brought on when they started this with First Class. Um, and I, it's a good trilogy. X-Men Apocalypse is terrible. And that's me not being biased as a comic book fan. X-Men is my favorite comic book franchise. I love that. They're my favorite hero team, I should say. You know, Wolverine being my favorite character of all time. And no, he's not in this movie. Spoiler alert. He's not in this movie, so don't expect it. There's no end credit scene. This is the final movie of the Fox Studios released X-Men movies. Um, as you may or may not know, Disney now owns the rights to X-Men and Fantastic Four. So they're going to be making the new X-Men movies. This was the final movie in the whole X Fox Studios X-Men series. I didn't think it was a great ending to the series. Um, the movie does have some problems. It's not a perfect movie, but there were some moments where I was like really caught emotionally. Like, I mean, Sophie Turner as Jean Grey was perfect, spot on. I mean, her acting, I mean, she's one of the best actresses in this movie, I think. Um, but a lot of the performance, there's a moment with Beast in this movie. I, I can't spoil, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but I'm telling you, you'll know what I'm talking about. When he turns a switch on, or off, whatever you want to say, there's a scene with him, Charles Xavier, that I thought was brilliant and well acted, well directed, well written. Um, th this movie does have some problems. You know, Simon Kimberg, the director of this movie, actually wrote X-Men 3 The Last Stand, which is one of the worst X-Men movies ever. And it's really the same story. It's the same Dark Phoenix story. Um, this one's a little tweaked. It is a little one note. You know, it's the plot you get in the trailer. There's no twist or turns or anything like that. It's, you know, Jean Grey struggling with her Phoenix powers and them trying to stop her. And she's trying to stop herself. She don't want these powers and abilities. And, and I, her performance showed that to me. I totally believed it. I believed every performance in this movie. Nightcrawler has one of his best 
scenes since X-Men 2, the very beginning of X-Men 2. If you like that Nightcrawler scene, this one's even better than that. So, well, I don't know about better, because that was pretty friggin' awesome. But this was cool, too. But um, this actually felt to me like the animated series come to life. It felt like an episode of X-Men the Animated Series that came out in the 1990s put into movie form. And that's where I got my enjoyment of it. It Was it a perfect movie? No. But, gosh, you, the, the abilities and powers of all the X-Men and wor them working as a team, you get that a few times in this movie. Very good action scenes. You know, I, I was very impressed. So, please, guys, don't believe the hype. Trust me, this movie is not as bad as everybody's saying it is. Go see it if you're a fan. Listen to me. If you're a fan of X-Men, watch this movie. It's not perfect, but it's not terrible by any means. You will love it, I promise you, if you're a true fan. But anyway, guys... Have you seen X-Men Dark Phoenix? Do you plan on seeing it? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. And as always, make yourself happy every day. And the only way to do that is to remember the only thing stopping you is you stopping. Bam!